Hi everybody, this is Diane. If you saw the previous video where I was clearing off my desk and doing a lot of sorting of little pieces of paper, I did get my desk pretty much cleared off, <clears throat> except for in the back, I pointed at the back of my table over in the sewing side that uh, there's a, a stack of things that I put there to deal with later. Most Mostly they are like ephemera pieces that I that are partially done that I need to finish or things that I want to make things with so that's going to be saved for last so I cleared off my table I didn't vacuum the floor or anything like that yet but I did pick up the pile of papers that was on the floor that I pointed out when I did a scan of my room this was at the bottom of the pile they are scraps of craft cardstock that I could make things with and pieces of manila folder partial folders that are coffee dyed some of them and these dividers I love the ones with the kind of metallic band so I can make um, tags with that at the top so I want to do that and I like this part too and some papers that I had colored with various things. Just stuff that I just like played with and didn't know what to do with it. So I've got some more of those dividers. So I do want to make a bunch of tags with that stuff. Maybe that can be a Tag Tuesday when I'm back to uh, doing some crafts on camera. And then this is a fun divider also in various colors. So I had just kind of St stuck them in between two of my drawer units and forgot about all of this stuff but I pulled it out and I'll have to find a place to put these so that I can remember to work on them so I just took them out of the bottom of the pile and today I'm going to focus on just sorting these items so last night again I could not sleep I was up very very late. I, I was in bed for an hour and a half and then I finally gave up. So I came in here and I was finishing up clearing up the little piles I had. I had made more piles in here on my desk so I got all that put away and then I had all these little strips and I thought I might as well just glue them down and have them ready to make into pockets and tags and whatnot. They're just such pretty colors um, on these colored strips and I had the strips of the Atlas index and some little strips of scrapbook paper also that I added and the green ledger paper. So I glued all of those pieces down last night and let it dry and I will sew. If you saw, I think it was the Golden Book journals that I made, I did a very similar thing with these strips of paper and I used uh, black uh, thread and did zigzag stitches on all of the seams because they're just most of them are just glue stick glued down so and and the black thread really uh, sparked them I think so I have those two pieces I'm going to put down at my sewing machine so I can sew them now, I want to show you how I'm going to be dividing this pile of papers. Most of this is from vintage magazines, I believe. I've had a variety of magazines that I've acquired over the summer that I have really done well at deconstructing so I don't have stacks of magazines. And I also have a stack of pages that I have to sort and put into my shop. But these are the ones that I pulled aside to keep. So I have these large envelopes, 10 by 15 or something like that, 10 by 13. It's the padded ones that are there. This is a padded one, and I probably only put stuff in here because I ran out of the unpadded ones. Um, yeah, this is like 10 by 15. But anyway, that's the approximate size of these envelopes. And this one says ladies on it. So it's just images from magazines that have ladies. Not necessarily fashion, but advertisements. Oh, that's a guy. 
He's not a lady. Illustrations and photographs and just anything with ladies that are kind of focused on the ladies. So that's what that envelope is. And this one is specifically for fashion. My goodness, I have so many, many fashion pages because I love I love the fashion images. So there's lots and lots of fashion images. And I will probably sort through all of my fashion images because I have a drawer full. And I have these and I have more here to add to this. So I'll probably sort through those fashion images just to show you what I have in fashion images and um, maybe de-stash some. This is homemaking, so this has anything to do with um, being a homemaker, not the cooking, because that's separate. But I might have some cooking things in here. Uh, this one is beauty, so it's basically advertisements for beauty products. Products. This is miscellaneous, just whatever, didn't have its own category. And this one is food, so anything to do with food preparation, food advertisements, kitchens, and things like that. So I have those. And I also have these. I've shown you these before. These are in this school, I don't know, they, they sell these at back to school time in different colors. And <clears throat> I've had it for years and I have these kinds of folders in here. So these feature, uh, these categories are from the vintage catalogs like the Spiegel and Ward's catalogs that I was able to get. They have things that I cut out of that. This is from Handiwork and needlework books. I just obviously just tuck some things in there without putting them in the... These are just pages. I guess they don't need to go in the folder or the envelope. This one is... Um, this might be homemaking again. I believe so, yes. This is homemaking. Because I kind of forgot that I had these envelopes. So I started new categories. So I will be sorting and combining. Uh, this is masculine. This is um, beauty. This is just um, coupons and subscription cards. I think this one is miscellaneous ads. I don't have them labeled. This one is fashion or ladies, just ladies, I guess and cooking or food and then I have those are all magazines and I have the book pages book illustrations too which I have talked about recently but I think everything I'm dealing with on this table is magazine stuff so that's how I'm going to be sorting um, these items on my desk those are the categories I will try to sort them into. And also, I had a Popular Mechanics, I think, a really old Popular Mechanics book. And so I did take some of the pages out of that. I didn't save a whole lot of it. But I have these two books. Better Homes and Gardens Handyman book. I've had this for a long time, and I love it. But I really do need to make a journal out of it. I just love this I like this. This is really old. Most of them that you find have this, have the cover printed with this design, if you find these old ones. And I really like this old stylized kind of, oh, sorry for the glare, vintage images. But I really like this, so I probably just use this inside the book when I make a journal out of it. This is 1951. So I saved some of the popular mechanics images for these two journals. This one is a really old, complete home handyman's guide. So I hope to make journals out of those. So without any further ado, let's start sorting. All right. I did start this without turning on the camera and then decided to just go ahead and turn the camera on. So these are some of the images I saved from Popular Mechanics. 
that I can, I'll just uh, put them in an envelope and store it with those books. And then I have some miscellaneous ads for being, um, taking an art course, learning the piano, Crescent Bicycles, these are from the 1800s. And then I have some cooking pages from a little cookbook. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I'll put this in miscellaneous. It's about industrial microscopes, and it's got a woman looking through a microscope, which I thought was a really cool image. And this, it's a man in front of a circuit board or something. Oh, it's scientists and engineers of Bell Telephone Laboratories. But I'm not going to put it in the masculine. I'm going to put it in the miscellaneous. There's big money in advertising. That will just go in the miscellaneous. And here is the cover of that Popular Mechanics 1948 magazine. Miscellaneous, I guess. And I have these from, uh, I think it's Harper's magazine um, with the Im fashion images. I can't scan them because... They're, the pages are such that the images from the other side show through. And I tried scanning them in, and you can see it, and I don't do editing. I don't have Photoshop. I don't know how. So these are not going to be scanned in, but I believe me, I have plenty of things that I can scan. So these are just going in my fashion images, my fashion pages. This can go in housekeeping. What's new for your home? And this came out of the Popular Mechanics which I thought these were really cool images. And I like this lace border. I can cut that out on brown. Kind of unusual. Solving home problems, also from Popular Mechanics. And I think this is where I left off. I have this. It's just a bunch of uh, books you can order through mail order. It's got the Audels. And uh, here's you can check off which ones you want and order it. But of course, I liked it because it's pink. It's pink, and it's about uh, mechanics guides, which is kind of cool. So I'm just going to put that in the miscellaneous. This can go in my catalog, my um, Spiegel catalog envelope that I pointed out. And I'll just put these in with the fashion stuff. This is not vintage. This came out of a newer book that has a lot of vintage images, and they're doing laundry. So I'm putting that with the uh, uh, homemakers. Um, this came out of that Harper's Magazine also, and I like the music. And I like that design, so I'm not sure which side I'll use. Um, I think I'll put that with the stitchery stuff. Then I have this whole pile of advertisements. They were, um, what do you call it? Uh, patrons, I guess, of whatever this publication was. So some of these ad ads look kind of neat. So I saved those. And I'm just going to put these, I think I'll just put them all in the miscellaneous. I do have a bunch that just feature pens and pencils, so I'll set that aside. Neckwear and ruffling, but there's other ads there too. Government job, fruit and produce. That's just a little pattern that came out of a craft book. Yeah, these are all just going to go in the miscellaneous ads. And then these came out of the Harper's Magazine. Unfortunately, I tore a whole section of pages because they're pretty soft, but I love that image. I'll put that with the stitchery stuff. That can go in fashion. Uh, 
Uh, this will go in a separate thing for the little girl's fashion. More stitchery. And this is just a fun image. Um, this came out of a book. So this is going to go in the book pages. I do have some book pages here. Uh, in the animals. I have one envelope of animals that came out of children's books. So those two will go there. And this I think I'll just put in miscellaneous because they are animals, but they're toys. There's a lovely lady, so she'll go in ladies. Oh, this, I wanted to show you this too. These are just a bunch of mag uh, pages from, oh, it's Peterson's, not Harper's. Um, so this is, and, and these are from 1878. And they were not in good shape, just so you know. So I saved these, even though there's no, there's some staples there, got to be careful. Even though there are no illustrations, I, I liked the, the soft feel of the page and how close the type is and how old it looks. So these can just be good backgrounds for things. I guess these will just go in miscellaneous children's pages. And this can go, these came out of a children's magazine, Playmate magazine I think it is. So that can go in the animals. Some more little animals. Anthropomorphic pigs. Aren't they cute? And the fuzzy little chicks. And a silly looking cow. And she can go in the children's envelope of the, the children's book pages. This is the magazine. See, it's in, it was in very bad condition. But this paper doll was on the front and the back inside cover. So that will go in the children envelope. And then I have these coloring pages. I took, there was a colored one and a one for the child to color, and I took most of them and put them in by my printer in the stack of things that I want to make copies of most of the colored ones. But I didn't want to do this one just because she has her pinky out, but to me, at first glance, it looks like she's holding a cigarette. So I didn't want to make a copy of that one. But that one and most of the others, the colored image I took in there, laid them up near my printer where I can um, make copies of them. So these are going to go in the children's illustration folder. That can go in miscellaneous. Oh no, it was for this one. Children. See how fragile they are. Um, animals. Humpty Dumpty. I'll put that in miscellaneous. And this one can go in people. Because they're not necessarily children. Alright. So I'm going to, I think that's all the book pages, the children's book pages that I have. I'm going to go ahead and put them in their envelopes so I can get them out of my way. Now this one is miscellaneous. This one is children. This one is the fattest one, of course. Oh, this can go in miscellaneous. Or maybe I want the clowns. I'll put that in with people. No, I'm going to put that in with my circus stuff. Oh. Hmm. I think I have enough farm stuff. I'm going to put that with my survey stuff. And this can go with my farm stuff. This one is animals. And 
people, grown-ups. Okay, that takes care of the children's book illustrations. Now we can carry on with our pile. All right, these are, oh, these are real, real vintage things. And I had some more. I have some things that I had made copies of. So these are already in my computer. And I just put them in this pile so I could take care of them. So I will sort those into whatever vintage ephemera file they need to go into. This can go with the Christmas stuff. All right, now I'm gonna move this pile off of here so I have room to make the piles that I need. All right, here is a fashion here because I'll probably have a lot of those and I will probably have a lot of cooking. And this one is stitchery. Where did I put stitchery? Oh, right here. This is the cover of a magazine. And this one is beauty. Here's soap. I love that image. Cooking. This will go with Christmas. There were a lot of, um, what was the name of the uh, St. Nicholas magazines that I got, the whole stack of them recently. Um, that's where this size page came from. And there are children's magazines, but they did have advertisements for things that adults would be interested in. But they also had a lot of these advertisements for, it's like a little garter, oblong rubber button hose supporters for kids. Because it shows her with her long cotton stocking fastening it to something. So they were in almost every magazine. And there's a cupie garter. I'm going to put that in miscellaneous and this will go with the food. Christmas ones. Apparently these came from the December issue. They're from the early 1900s, these magazines. They were dated 1908 through, I think, 1913. Something like that. This can go with some fairy things that I have. Tumblebug's Great Three Ring Circus. So I think every issue had stories featuring the tumble bugs and it's got three like rings that a late that a person would wear it's pretty cute so do I want to put that in circus I think I'll just I don't know I'll put that in miscellaneous I guess I'll consider some of these um, magazine pages like the children's book pages this is really adorable the jello there were a lot of jello ads also that's a children's book illustration. Looking at herself in the mirror, I kept the poem with it so they can go together in the same book. I'm going to put that with my swan items and fairy items. Fairy tea, more fairies, and this. I'm going to put that with my fairy stuff also. Um, she's sewing, but I think I'll just put that with ladies. I don't know. <laughs> this can go with farm stuff, chickens. There's some, another one of those garters for the kids. 
Isn't that a cute picture? Chiclets, miscellaneous. I like these tennis illustrations. There's quite a few of them. I'm going to put that with lady illustrations. A bag of flour. And then we have um, popular radio was in that pile of magazines. So I'm going to put them in my technical pile of stuff. There's some ladies. And I'll put this with children because it's, it's a lady too, but it's focusing on the child. Love that picture. Please, Mother, did you say the candy was in the top drawer? She's looking for the candy. Okay, I'm going to try to go faster now. I'm going to put that with um, ladies. And a little girl. Food. Look at this. Cupid cutouts are such fun. Stern Irene, the gardener's daughter. I wish that I had seen those in every one of those magazines. But I think that's the only one I found. Mazzola oil. I'm going to put that with cutouts to make into paper clips. There's a peacock that I have one um, envelope in my closet in the other room that has swans and peacocks in it. That could be cooking or children. I'm going to put it in children. Beauty, another Pierce soap, cooking. There were a lot of um, Kingsford's starch uh, advertisements that I really liked the pictures of. And there's another Jello. I'll put that with ladies. And this, I love that illustration. So that goes in miscellaneous. and more pure soap. I have these pretty designs. They can go in miscellaneous. There were a lot of ads for something called Peter's Milk Chocolate, which I've never heard of. It's a little girl. Little. Uh, I'm gonna put that in with magazine subscriptions because I think that's what that coupon is for. Another pretty design. It's a young girl reading a book. Breakfast cocoa. She is cleaning with ivory soap, but I'm going to put that in the ladies. Cocoa, cereal, but cereal, I guess I'll put it in the food pile because it's not cooking but it is food. Look at that cute little picture. There's cornstarch. Necco wafers candy. So they've been around a long time. Toys. Quaker Oats. I love this Baker's Lady. Baker's Chocolate. Berry Soap. I'll put that in beauty advertisements. More Baker's Cocoa. So these are ones that I just removed from the magazine, but I put them on top of some magazine pages that have been sitting there for a while, so I have to get to those and remember what I had. There's a spoon. I'll put that in miscellaneous. Sewing machine. I'll put that with stitchery. I keep losing the stitchery. It's right there. Look at that pretty little girl and her dog. 
Okay, these are buildings. I just liked the architecture. I'll put those in miscellaneous. There's another starch. Oh, that's not for food. It's not this is starch. I think the other one was cornstarch. That will go in housekeeping. This one is cornstarch. Yep, yeah, so that can go with food. Little girls. Look at this beautiful decorative element. Little girl playing the piano. Looking at the clock to see how close she is to being done with practice time. Condensed milk, little girl and her collies. This is an advertisement for Yellowstone Park and the Northern Pacific Railroad. Flour, cereal, cornstarch, jello. Another spoon, another beautiful little girl, coffee, water, I'll just put that in miscellaneous, the world's best table water from America's most famous spring, onyx hosiery, I'll put that in fashion, there's another pen, and the paper company. Stationary. I'll put that with the pens. I just wanted this for the pretty designs. I think I'll just put that in miscellaneous. Breakfast cocoa again. Now this one has cornstarch and silver gloss starch. So I'm going to cut it apart. One for food, one for homemaking. And then there's a coupon, and these can be made into paper clips or embellishments. We've gotten to the pages that were already laying on the floor. I think I just wanted to put this in my Christmas stuff. This isn't very old. This coupon expires in 99, so Janu January 99, so this book magazine was probably from 1998. Here's another Christmas, 1925. I'm going to put that with the coupons and stuff. It's a rules for entering some comp competition or something. So I guess these are already piled up together. So all of these are coupons and subscription forms and stuff like that. That's very handy that they're already separated for me. Maybe everything in this pile is separated. There's some cleaner, Clorox, candy, hair curlers. I'll put that in beauty. There's an iron, coffee, pickles, miscellaneous, miscellaneous. this beautiful image and it's advertising cornflakes but I'm going to put her in the pile of ladies she's it's a very big magazine page so I think all of this I put them together in a folded page and I think these are all stitchery I've got to move them because I've got too many I don't have enough space and I've got big pages here now. St. Nicholas was a small magazine, but this is from the Delineator, and this is 1921. The Bubble Fairy, so I'm going to put that with my fairy stuff. 
Look at that. Oh gosh. Got to put that where I can make copies of it. 1921. And then these will end up in the fashion. Look at that. Oh my goodness. They're so big though. I don't know how it will do without cutting that. I don't want to cut it. Not yet anyway. I don't know how I'll be able to make copies of them. I wish they were on both sides. Look at the artist's work here. The faces on those girls. These are for young girls. So they had to make them look charming and young. And these are younger girls. Little girls. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. And these have just been sitting in a pile in here. going where I can make copies. Here's Christmas. This is a beautiful image. I don't think I'll make copies, make a digital out of that because the background is so dark. I'm just going to put that with ladies. Christmas. Men. Got a couple there. This is about, I think it's about making these. I'm going to put it in with the fashion. Fashion. And fashion. These are aprons, so I'm going to put that in the homemaking. We've got fashion and beauty. I wonder if I should make a copy of that. I think so. Might be able to see that through, through it though. We'll, we'll try it. And these I can make copies of. These came out of the delineator in 1905. I got these at an antique. There's the cover of it. An antique mall. I'll put those where I can make copies. Uh, make digitals, I mean. I'll just put that in fashion. I think the black and white ones, I'll just... I don't need to make digitals out of everything. I have a pile of stuff to make digitals with. So all of these can just go with the fashion stuff. There's some more colored ones. Look at those sleeves. This can go in st stitchery? No, I'm going to put it in fashion. I guess you can purchase these. Lingerie pajamas. Well, this is from the book of dressmaking and embroidery. I want to make a, a digital with that and then probably hang this, put it in a frame and hang it in my room here. I'm just going to put that in fashion. I could make digitals with that, maybe, but I'd have to cut it. I'm going to have to cut it anyway if I want to use it. But these would be so cute to cut into squares. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the digital pile and figure it out later. We're almost done with this pile. There's some tall, slender ladies. There, we got to the bottom of the pile. Now I get the job of putting everything away. And we're at 40 minutes, so I think that's good. 
All right, so now you saw how I'm sorting things and what kind of categories I have. I hope that you found that helpful. Um, you might have different types of categories depending on what you're interested in. Um, the magazines that I had didn't have like botanical images in them. They were children's books and ladies' books and popular mechanics. So didn't have any botanicals in those. So um, I'm, I'm glad I got through that pile, but I'm going to put them in their proper envelopes and then I'm going to have to go through the envelopes and kind of weed things out. So you may see some items in my shop from, from this pile or from the envelopes. Maybe. I don't know. I might just have too hard of a time getting rid of stuff, in which case I just need to make sure I use the stuff. So this is my food envelope. Food and cooking. Miscellaneous. Beauty. I thought I would have more beauty things to put in here, but I guess most of the magazines that I went through were children's. making. Yeah, home making. The other thing I did when I couldn't sleep last night was um, start prepping things to put in my shop. So I have quite a few things that are bundled, but I need to pe uh, weigh them. I think I am going to cut her out so I don't have to fold the page. I'm not going to cut her out, but just cut around her so I can fit her in the envelope. And I'll fussy cut her later when it's time to use her. And then I can cut this out and put it with the food. I cut up a gorgeous Jello page. I always love the Jello ads in color, but of course I would have chosen her anyway. Oh, yeah, that goes with fashion. Okay, these are the ladies. I guess this would go with ladies' fashion because it's advertising their house coats. I can't wait to go through these actually pull stuff out of them and see what else is in there. It's going to be like Christmas looking at all that stuff again, like finding all those fashion images today. So I'll get all this stuff kind of, well, we're going to sort it in my video when I do the fashion pages, so I guess I don't have to do anything with them. That is really long, so I'm going to cut that part off will fit in the envelope. I don't know if this one will fit in and I don't want to fold it yet. upside down backwards, but I don't care. As long as I can get them in without causing damage. She reminds me of Some Like It Hot. Um, oh, what was that man's name? Not Walter Methow, but the other one. That looks like his outfit in that movie when they dressed up like women. Jack, is his name Jack? 
I know his name, I just can't think of it right now. I can see his face and hear his voice. Sometimes when you're trying to put things in the bubble envelopes, the corners of things get stuck on a bubble. Okay, that's in there. That's all I have of those envelopes, so this will have to go in. Oh, this lady goes in the envelope also. This is from Ladies Home Journal, 1917. All right, well, I guess I'm just going to stop the video here, and I'll just put the rest of these into those other packs that I showed you, and I'll get all this stuff put away. Thanks for hanging out with me while I did some sorting, the boring job of sorting, but I hope you enjoyed seeing all the beautiful images that I have gotten out of very old magazines, and I hope you got some ideas for things to save and how to sort them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. And, oh, I just wanted to say, while I'm not doing videos every day, or even close to every day, I would like it if you would go back and watch some of my older videos that you maybe haven't seen or that you'd like to watch again to kind of keep my numbers up on YouTube. I would appreciate that, and leave comments, too, and let me know that you're watching. Thanks. Bye-bye.